Hey guys, I'm out here fooling around again with this 78 C10 truck. Goes by the name of Papa. I know y'all's getting tired of this truck, but uh, I'm just letting you know what I'm doing to it. I put another coat of Penetrol on it uh, just because it needed it. I had a couple of streaks, and I think I've just about got them all out. I think uh, on the 75 C10 truck, uh, it looks just like this. A short bed. Uh, goes by the name of sky i think i put three coats on it i believe this one's had two might be one or two little streaks but i mean it's it looks pretty good we've had some storms uh and you know it's been rained on and dew and everything else so it looks pretty good so today after i've done that just took a few minutes uh i've been making these uh vent window posts look better and i'll show you how i'm doing that it's kind of i don't know i just i just noticed stuff like that i don't know why i got these paint markers and these are about wore out but i will show you what i'm doing i've been this is my best one this one's just about wore out but see this oh if i get my finger out of the way sorry about that see this I just been going over it and then I'll get my other paint marker that has a little bit more paint in it. I'm just trying to save as much paint as I can. For some reason, getting paint seems to be a thing for me that unachievable nearly. This is just about out too. I might as well go to it. Sorry about that. I'll be with you in just one second. I'm trying to get some paint to come out. They're just about dried up. Anyway. I'm just trying to make it look just a little bit better. Stuff nobody else would notice. For some reason, I do. So. Sometimes little things mean a whole lot. In my opinion. I'll have to go over some of this again. I know. I'm trying to show you this in a hurry. I don't mean to bore you to death. Which I know I do. And I apologize for that. Okay, anyway, this is what I'm doing. I'll, sh I'll get back with you in a minute. Okay, guys, I'm doing this vent window. This is not a good example, but I'll show you what it, well, if it'll focus. Show you what it looks like. Kind of hard to do with one hand and show y'all too, but basically, I'm coloring. <laughs> with a, except not with a crayon. I'm just using this marker. I can go faster when I'm not holding the camera. But I'm trying to make sure that you're, you're seeing what I'm seeing. I'm trying to. I know this stuff probably is silly to you, but to me, it makes a difference to me, I guess. Just because I know it's there. Somebody else would probably never notice but I'm, I'm just like that. If I, if I notice something and I don't fix it, it gets on my nerves. Maybe I'm a little bit like that guy, Monk. That TV show, Monk. I don't know. Could be. No, I'm not that bad. But if you've ever seen that show, he's kind of... Well, I don't know. It's a pretty good show, though. Detective show. I think from the 90s, maybe 2000s. Anyway... I thought I'd show you that part before I completely covered it up. I forgot I was doing a video. And I got a little overspray on this window here that I'm going to have to get off. So, <sighs> wherever you look, there's always something to do, isn't there? So, let's see where we're at here. Uh, 
Yeah, I need to get on that other side. Anyway, I'll get back with you in a minute when I get done, okay? Okay, guys, I've got it all blacked and looks better. Looks better than it did before. I'll say that. Anyway, I'll show you the other side. Like I said, I don't mean to bore you with this old truck. I truly don't. Anyway, I'm kind of letting that dry just a little bit. In the meantime, while that's doing that, I'm going to get me... I have a little bit of Penetrol that's left over on my workbench. And uh, I'm going to put it on the bent window frame and we'll see what it looks like. Hang on for just a minute. Okay, guys, I put some Penetrol on it. I got a little bit on this glass I'm going to have to get off, but I lost my paper towel. But I'll get it here right after this video. Other than a little bit of dust from me. Uh, using steel wool to get the window clean. Uh, it looks pretty good. Uh, let's play the song game real quick. Then I'll end the video, okay? If you've never played the song game, I'll tell you the what I'm about to ask you. And that is, I want the name of the song. And I want the name of the group or artist that sung the song. I'm not going to sing the song. I'm just going to say the words, okay? But... There are no prizes to be had. I don't have any money to give out. I'm just, uh, I'm like everybody else. I'm trying to survive like everybody else. So, uh, I'm going to tell you the words to the song. If, if you recognize the words and you recognize the artist or the group, subscribe and leave me a comment in the, uh, under, under this video and uh, let me know which artist or group sung the song and the name of the song okay uh i'm gonna let this car go by okay i want to say the words and i'm just going to speak them i'm not going to uh sing it or anything uh let me see i had a song in my head i was going to tell y'all uh Okay, here we go. Uh, shine up my old brown shoes. Put on... Let's see. Now, let me start all over. Okay, guys, I got it all painted, and I put some Penetrol on it. Got a little bit of dust from steel wool where I was cleaning the window from the little bit of paint over spray that I didn't see previously. I'll show you the other side. Kind of letting this dry just a little bit. Put Penetrol on it right through here. Looks looks pretty good. Looks better than it did, doesn't it? Looks like it still has some life in it. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video of this old truck, this Papaw truck. Oh, let's check the hood because I put this on right before the sun hit. So it should be just about the sun's really on it. Gosh, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? I see a few little streaks, but I mean, they're so minor, I'm not even going to mess with it. But hasn't this truck done a complete turnaround, in my opinion? Golly, what a change. I probably should have done like other people have suggested and put some more patina on the edge of the hood. But I don't know, with so little paint that I have, I was kind of scared to do that. So, to me, it looks okay. I can live with it. I'll have to. <laughs> but this old truck sure has sure has turned out to be a decent looking old truck, my opinion. Y'all let me know what you think. I know y'all's tired of me talking about this old truck, and I apologize for that. But I'm just trying to show you every day I try to pick at it just a little bit every day and get a little bit more a little bit more so it doesn't seem like it's so overwhelming there are times when i'm doing this kind of stuff that it just seems like oh my goodness am i ever going to get done or or see a point in the progression that i'm thinking i'm 
getting a little bit, you know, making headway. But when you start putting the paint on and all that other stuff, it seems like it's finally starting to, you know, come into play. And then you put the penetrol on and just little things. It kind of adds up in a big way. And then when you look at the video from when I first got the truck and and what it looks like now, it looks totally different, doesn't it? Hope y'all feel the same way. I'm just kind of piddling around with it, and I, I hope that you've enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have, please like and subscribe. I have two YouTube channels. Uh, you're watching Primate is Best now on YouTube. And I have another YouTube channel called Man on a Budget. I'm on Instagram, Primer is Best, and Instagram, Man on a Budget 1. I'm going to get back on that channel uh, just real soon. I, I've just had a few things going on, so I think they're finally starting to maybe wind down a little bit. Here comes my plane. Anyway, uh, I'm also on Facebook, Primer is Best. Y'all have a wonderful day. God bless y'all. Thank you for watching. Please stay safe, and I hope to catch you in the next video. I'll see y'all later.